described by NASA as the first collision between two intact spacecraft, and it happened at high speed, just under 800 kilometers above the Earth's surface, over the Russian Arctic north. NASA says it's an important orbit for satellites relaying communications, monitoring weather, and performing scientific observations. One of the satellites involved in the collision was operated by the American company Iridium that provides voice and data services, particularly for areas of the world not served by ground-based communications networks. The satellite was launched in 1997. The other said to have been a defunct Russian communications satellite launched in 1993. NASA calculates that some 6,000 satellites have been sent into space since the Russians launched Sputnik 1 in 1957. About 3,000 of them are still functioning. Partly as a result of the deliberate breaking up of the older satellites, the amount of debris orbiting the Earth has increased significantly, and collisions with debris are normally regarded as the greatest risk. The International Space Station orbits well below the altitude of the collision between the two satellites. The impact has produced a massive cloud of debris, which is expected to spread. NASA considers the threat to the space station and its astronauts to be low, and if necessary, NASA says, the space station could undertake a debris avoidance maneuver. It will apparently take weeks to determine the full scale of the collision. We always knew, one space scientist said, that this was going to happen eventually.